We're going to cover the basics of how to add images, align them, and link them within our page in the classic editor of WordPress. Logged into your WordPress dashboard, head over to your media library. This is where all of your images that have been uploaded are stored. You can add new images to this library by clicking on Add New at the top, click on Select Files, and selecting your image from your computer. You can also just drag and drop it in, which is a pretty convenient way to add it in. Now, clicking on an image, you'll notice that a few, uh, there's a few fields on the right-hand side that you can fill out. We suggest at least filling out the title and the alt text fields for all your images that you use on your site, just for best SEO results. When you add an image to the media library, WordPress automatically creates multiple versions of it in different sizes, thumbnail, medium, and large. You can change these sizes under settings here on the left-hand side, click on media, and here you'll see the sizes that we have set here in pixels. Now this will only affect any added image images after you've saved these changes. Now let's add an image to our about page. So we'll go navigate to our about page and edit. Now while you're on the visual tab, go ahead and click the area you'd like to include your image. We'd like it on the left-hand side of this paragraph um, at the very beginning and click on add media. And here's your media library that pops up so you can still upload um, a new image if you don't already have it in here the same way go ahead and click on upload files you can select your files or if it's already in your media library select the image you'd like to add and you'll see that all your settings here on the right will pop up and below that are your display settings so we want to align it on the left hand side so we're going to change this to left we don't want it clickable there's a number of options you can have the image click to a custom URL that you set, attachment page, media file. We're gonna select none. And here are the sizes that we had just previewed. We want to keep it small, so we're gonna just do thumbnail, which is 150 by 150 pixels um, width and height. Insert that into the page. And the best way to preview this um, amongst the whole page is hit preview changes, which brings you to a temporary link that only you can see. It's not published to the live site. And there we go. Now let's go back and to um, change the alignment here, let's say we want it on the right hand side of the text, you can go ahead and just click on the image. And you'll see that there are different alignments that we can do here. Um, let's align it to the right, preview it. It automatically updates our preview page, and here we go. Here's it on the right-hand side. You can click on it again, align center, preview changes, automatically refreshes the page, and there is a center alignment. Now, depending on the theme and plugins and settings and such that your website is actually running on, these displays might be a little bit different, um, but these are pretty generic to how WordPress has set them up. There's also a no alignment option, but we're gonna go back to align left there. And to go back and edit the settings in the previous view that we had, go ahead and just click on edit and you are back to more settings. But let's go ahead and add a new image. Now I'd like to add it here. Um, this one, but would like to align it on the right hand side and we want it to attach um, to link to it, its attachment page. Keep it a thumbnail size, insert that into the page. Let's preview our changes. And now we can click on it. And here is the attachment page that it brings us to, which is pretty much showing us at least in this theme, allows us to go back and forth between our images in the image library. Now we can do a custom URL. Let's go ahead and add another image with a different size. So add media. Let's add this one. 
Let's do a custom URL. Let's see, I want it to go in the center. Custom URL to Google. I want it bigger. Insert that into the page. See preview changes. Go down and here is our centered align image that has a caption. Click on it and there we go. Goes to Google. So that's pretty much the gist. Go ahead and um, just clicking on it, you can remove it or go back and edit. Let's say we don't want it clickable anymore. There's um, image CSS class. And here's our title attribute that we should have filled out. So we'll just go ahead and do that now. Um, lots of different options. Yeah, I encourage you to just go around and kind of get familiar with the setup. There's a lot of cool things that you can do. And when you're done with your changes, of course, you go to preview. And if it all looks good, it's not live to the website until you hit the update button. Now I've saved all of my changes. I'm going to go back to the live site. This, and let's see, this is not the preview. You can see it's a live site. I'm going to refresh it. And there is my newly edited page with beautiful photos.